the fourth book of Moses called Numbers. Now the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai in the tabernacle of meeting on the first day of the second month in the second year after they had come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of all the congregation of the children of Israel by their families, by their fathers' houses, according to the number of names, every male individually, from twenty years old and above, all who are able to go to war in Israel. You and Aaron shall number them by their armies. And with you there shall be a man from every tribe, each one the head of his father's house. These are the names of the men who shall stand with you. From Reuben, Eliezer, the son of Shedeur. From Simeon, Shelumiah, the son of Zurishadai. From Judah, Nashon, the son of Aminadab. From Issachar, Nathana, the son of Zuar. From Zebulun, Eliah, the son of Helon, from the sons of Joseph, from Ephraim, Elishama, the son of Amahud, from Manasseh, Gamaliel, the son of Pedazur, from Benjamin, Abidon, the son of Gideoni, from Dan, Ahizar, the son of Amishadai, from Asher, Pegiel, the son of Okra, from Gad, Elihasa, the son of Deuel, from Naphtali, Ahira, the son of Enoch, these were chosen from the congregation, leaders of their father's tribes, heads of the divisions in Israel. Then Moses and Aaron took these men who had been mentioned by name, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they recited their ancestry by families, by their father's houses, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, each one individually. As the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai. Now the children of Reuben, Israel's oldest son, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, every male individually from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Reuben were forty-six thousand five hundred. From the children of Simeon, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, of those who were numbered, according to the number of names, every male individually from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Simeon were 59,300. From the children of Gad, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war. Those who were numbered of the tribe of Gad were 45,650. From the children of Judah, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, According to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Judah were seventy-four thousand six hundred. From the children of Issachar, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Issachar were fifty-four thousand four hundred. From the children of Zebulun, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Zebulun were fifty-seven thousand four hundred. From the sons of Joseph, the children of Ephraim, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Ephraim were forty thousand five hundred. From the children of Manasseh, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Manasseh were thirty-two thousand two hundred. From the children of Benjamin, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Benjamin were thirty-five thousand four hundred. From the children of Dan, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Dan were sixty-two thousand seven hundred. From the children of Asher, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Asher were forty-one thousand five hundred. From the children of Naphtali, their genealogies by their families, by their father's house, according to the number of names, from twenty years old and above, all who were able to go to war, those who were numbered of the tribe of Naphtali, 
were 53,400. These are the ones who were numbered, whom Moses and Aaron numbered, with the leaders of Israel, 12 men, each one representing his father's house. So all who were numbered of the children of Israel by their father's houses, from 20 years old and above, all who were able to go to war in Israel, all who were numbered were 603,550. But the Levites were not numbered among them by their father's tribe. For the Lord had spoken to Moses, saying, Only the tribe of Levi you shall not number, nor take a census of them among the children of Israel. But you shall appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of the testimony, over all its furnishings, and over all things that belong to it. They shall carry the tabernacle and all its furnishings. They shall attend to it and camp around the tabernacle. And when the tabernacle is to go forward, the Levites shall take it down. When the tabernacle is to be set up, the Levites shall set it up. The outsider who comes near shall be put to death. The children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every one by his own camp, every one by his own standard, according to their armies. But the Levites shall camp around the tabernacle of the testimony, that there may be no wrath on the congregation of the children of Israel, and the Levites shall keep charge of the tabernacle of the testimony. Thus the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they did.
were not numbered among the children of Israel, just as the Lord commanded Moses. Thus the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses. So they camped by their standards, and so they broke camp, each one by his family according to their father's houses. are the records of Aaron and Moses when the Lord spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the anointed priests, whom he consecrated to minister as priests. Nadab and Abihu had died before the Lord when they offered profane fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. So Eleazar and Ithamar ministered as priests presence of Aaron their father. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and present them before Aaron the priest, that they may serve you. And they shall attend to his needs, and the needs of the whole congregation, before the tabernacle of meeting, to do the work of the tabernacle. Also they shall attend to all the furnishings of the tabernacle of meeting, and to the needs of the children of Israel, to do the work of the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are given entirely to him from among the children of Israel. So you shall appoint Aaron and his sons, and they shall attend to their priesthood. But the outsider who comes near shall be put to death. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Now behold, I myself have taken the Levites from among the children of Israel, instead of every firstborn who opens the womb among the children of Israel. Therefore the Levites shall be mine, because all the firstborn are mine. On the day that I struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I sanctify to myself all the firstborn in Israel, both man and beast. They shall be mine. I am the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Number the children of Levi by their father's houses, by their families. You shall number every male from a month old and above. So Moses numbered them according to the word of the Lord as he was commanded. These were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershom by their families, Libna and Shimei, and the sons of Kohan by their families, Amram, Yisahar, Hebron, and Uziah, and the sons of